everybody and welcome back to the Little Miss Funeral YouTube channel. My name is Lauren Leroy and I am a licensed funeral director in the state of New York. If this is the first time that you're visiting my channel, I just want to say welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here and I would really appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos that I put out in the future. As well as at the end of this video, if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button so I know to make more videos just like this one in the future. So if you can't tell by looking at me, today I am really tired, um, but I wanted to sit down and record a video because I did miss an upload last week and I just don't want to make a habit of that. So I was working at the funeral home today and something happened that really freaked me out and I don't feel this is the proper time to talk about what had actually happened um, but today's events did remind me of something that I had gone through very early in my career so I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a story time with all of you and talk to you about um, this experience that I had in the past. So once upon a time, I was working for a funeral home and it was a very small operation. I've talked about this place in the past. There was basically three uh, employees that were funeral directors, the owner, myself, and a coworker. Now when we would leave for the day, we would transfer our phones to an answering service. This is a very common practice that a lot of funeral homes have, just so the director themselves doesn't have to answer every single phone call that comes in basically an answering service after hours or if they're busy on services will answer their phones and take messages and if there's something urgent they page or text the funeral director to let them know that a call came in that needs immediate attention so one day we got a death call at this funeral home and I had sat down and made arrangements with the widow and it was a really sweet woman whose husband had passed away she was just like the cutest thing ever I remember meeting her she actually was from England so even though she was um, older and spent the majority of her life in the States she still had this amazing English accent and was just so kind um, so it really was like a pleasure for me to sit down and an honor to do those arrangements for her husband and kind of talk to her and get to know her um, she did share with me that her and her husband never had kids it was just the two of them and she basically decided that she did want to cremate him and then have a memorial service two weeks from then so that she could have family members if they wanted to come in from overseas give them hopefully enough time to do that so at this funeral home, it was very common practice if we had immediate or direct cremations, we would have what we called final farewells. Basically meaning that we would not embalm somebody, but we would set their features and give their family some time to spend with them after the arrangement conference. Um, and it was really good for a couple of reasons. Number one, it was therapeutic for the family to have that time to say goodbye to their loved one. But number two, it was an ID process for us at the funeral home. So we were making certain that the people we were cremating were in fact that person and no mistakes were being made because as we all know cremation is final. And at the arrangement conference I walked her into the room where she was viewing her husband and she just spent time with him and basically left the funeral parlor and then I kind of got to work calling in the newspaper notice, getting a pastor, organizing the entire thing. Now I met with her on a Saturday and I remember that because we had weekends on and weekends off and that so happened to be my weekend on. And since we weren't in the office on like a normal nine to five setting, our answering service were taking our calls and filtering them for us, kind of like I mentioned earlier in this video. Well, the very next day, still being my weekend on because it was a Sunday, I was driving to the funeral home to just kind of finalize a couple of things that I didn't have an opportunity to do do the day before and as I was driving to the funeral home my phone started buzzing and I looked and it was a text message from our answering service and I was almost to the funeral home I was like on the street so I remember pulling into our parking lot parking my car 
and looking at this message. And I was so confused because the message was a new death call, but it was the woman that I had met with the previous day it was saying that it was her name and i remember thinking to myself the answering service got this message all wrong she wasn't the one who passed away her husband did and she was probably calling me trying to get some information and finalize a couple of things like a newspaper notice i don't even know what was going through my mind but i was just like this answering service got this completely wrong so i looked at the message i called the next of kin that they were saying which was the niece who actually actually came in with her aunt uh, to make the arrangements for her uncle and her niece told me that yeah her aunt actually had passed away and I was like besides myself like floored and it was such a surreal experience for me because in my mind I was thinking like I just met this she, she was sitting in front of me we were having conversations we were talking how can she be dead when yesterday she was fine and that was like such a difficult arrangement because i didn't know her intimately but i had spent time with her and now I was doing her funeral service so that was totally even to this day like so weird I don't I don't know even a proper term to like explain the situation to you guys it was just surreal and something honestly that I had never experienced in my career before and that time then I was making arrangements with her niece because once again her and her husband never had kids and her niece had mentioned to me how it had been them together for so many years and her aunt just didn't know how to live without her husband and that she was certain that she had died of a broken heart um, and when she said that I started looking at things a little bit differently and I kind of thought that the situation even though very sad was also very beautiful if any of you have ever seen the movie The Notebook, I mean, it just kind of had a little bit of that ending where, you know, two people's lives are so intertwined with one another that one simply cannot live without the other. And, I mean, you hear of that a lot where people are married and one of the spouses passes away and then maybe a couple months later the other one does. But having them pass away um, naturally from natural causes so close in time frame to one another was just something that was very different to see and I think spoke to their bond that they had as a husband and wife too. And for those of you who are curious, um, we ended up doing the exact same services for her that we did for her husband and both of them then instead of that two week time period just having services for her husband, we ended up having services for the both of them. So even though a very sad situation for their family losing two members um, so closely together it was also like I said I guess you can look at it as like a tragically beautiful ending too so I think that that to this date um, has been one of the most unique <laughs> arrangements and funeral service that I had ever done um, and I am curious from other funeral directors who may be watching this video right now if you have ever had something happen in your career that is similar to what I'm explaining now um, put it in the comment section below because I think that these kind of things do happen although not so common but Thank you guys for listening to this little story time of a very unique arrangement and funeral service. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you all next week Wednesday.